I'm gonna show you something. This is a this is a pear tree, and uh, if you'll notice, see this limb right here. See how the, how dark color the bark is right there. And see how the leaves are all droopy, like that. And then you get out here and look at this one. You know it looks all pretty and stuff. Well, that right there is fire blight, and you can keep them uh, from getting fire blight. There's a uh, fungicide that you can spray on them. I can't think of the name of it, but oh crap, I can't. It's not Mancozeb. That's another one. Anyway. I'm gonna have to cut cut this out, and you're supposed to cut out about 12 inches below the infected area. So in reality, uh, it may get this whole limb right here. This limb, it's, it's got a lot of foliage on it and probably got a lot of fruit on it, but I can't help it. I gotta save my tree. Uh, I'm gonna try cutting it right here, and then if I see any more moving into this other area right here, then I'll, I'll come all the way down to about right here and cut this big limb off. And uh, you want to throw throw that thing way out in the woods somewhere, get it away from everything else. But here's some more right here. Gotta watch this fire blight, man. It'll tear some fire trees up. Here's some more right there. I may have to butcher this tree. I don't know. Uh, I keep my eye on it, and uh, if it ain't too bad, I may leave it until. Uh, harvest time so I don't lose any fruit and then uh, next February I'll uh, do a massive pruning on it and I noticed some more on this other pear tree right here uh, this limb right here I'm gonna bend it down and show you so you get it here toward the end end and everything's all limp looking you come up this way and everything looks all perky and you know, uh, healthy and stuff, but come on out here and everything starts looking bad. And you can really look at the the bark also. See how that bark looks all healthy and stuff? And you come up here a little bit and it starts uh, it starts turning a different color. That's fire blight. Well, had to come off. Well, come off, man. Little pears right here. Right here ain't got many on it. Not at all. I might get five off of it. Wind's getting up. Whew. Gonna be stormy. I, I ain't seen no problems with this tree right here. There's a plum. Uh, bugs has already got on it, but I hadn't been able to spray because, you know, it don't do any good if you spray everything and then the next day it comes a flood you know it rains and washes it all off and then you just have to do it all over again well that's kind of what i've been dealing with here lately there's a lot of rain uh it's keeping me from spraying my trees like i need to uh there's a little plum right up in there see it's turning color i don't think it got pollinated good <clears throat> there's another right there yeah when they just when they come out swell up and then start uh, turning colors real quick they didn't get pollinated them things up there will fall off fall off on the ground all right we're never going to look at this santa rosa see it's got some of the same symptoms right here that right there i don't think it got pollinated very well but this sucker boy it's got a bunch on it i can tell you that much i mean it's you know it's already got plums that big on it and uh, these things get real big, but we got we got a bunch of plums, man. We have a big old plum shindig. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'm gonna make some. Uh, uh, I guess jelly. I hadn't. I ain't never made it before, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make some. Well, look at that bug been on that and just tore it up. But crap, I can't do nothing about it. You know. Talked about that a while ago. Well, we're gonna have a pretty good year, I think. 
lot of them under here. And there's a lot of them. The wind's blowing them and they're falling off on the ground. And Jude's eating. Hey, quit eating that. What's wrong with you? Huh? See, that fell off. I think it's, uh, I don't think I can got pollinated good either, but uh, wind's what's blowing these off. I can throw this right here and she'll go get it. <laughs> uh oh, there's a stick. <laughs> oh my god. Check this out, man. She goes diving off into the woods, and then it's like pretty funny because she just does it in leaps and bounds. I know this video is getting long, but I gotta show you this, man. I'm gonna have to hold the camera with my left hand and throw it with my right so I can get a good one. So I can. You ready? You better go get this stick. Ready? Here we go. Oh, look at her go. Uh oh. She goes barreling off down into the woods. Alright. I'm gonna cut this off here in a second. Here's some apples. Look at you fella right there. Uh she's got this going on. I'm um, gonna keep my eye on it. I don't think it's fire blight, but you can't ever tell. I will keep my eye on it. What does that see? Okay. <laughs>